Okay, so now let's jump to the next one. We're going to talk about the right join. We have the following task. It's almost the same. Find all customer ID, first name, order ID, quantity, but this time include all orders, regardless of whether there is a matching customers. That means for us, okay, we need all the orders from the right table from the orders. And in order to do that, we have the same setup over here in SQL. We just need to change the type of join. So we're going to write here, right. Once you do that, you are controlling, okay, how the database is going to match and going to present the results. We will have the same setup over here. We'll not change anything. And let's run this. And with that, you can see, okay, the database did list all the orders from the order table and from the left side, only the matching customers. Okay, so as usual, let's see what the database did once we executed the right join. We have the same setup. Customers is a left table, orders is the right table, and we have the same column as well. So customer ID, first name, order ID, and as well, we have the quantity. But now here, the difference is that we said it is a right join. So in order to do that in SQL, it's gonna like present all the results from the right table without checking whether there is a match with the left so the database is going to select everything from here so all the orders and all the quantities without checking anything from the left side so now from the left side it's going to only present what is matching so it's going to check okay do we have customer id one yeah we have it so it's going to present the result over here on the left side do we have customer two we have it as well Customer three, we have George over here. But now we don't have a customer number six. That means it's going to be null again. So it's going to be empty. We don't have a customer with the ID six in the customer tables. So with that, we presented everything, all the orders from the right sides and only the matching informations from the customers. All right, everyone. So that's all for the right join. Next, we're going to start talking about the last type of joins, the full outer join. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well, all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.